What is up guys, Brett here with InfoSmercial and today we're going to go over five of the most important things you can do when starting a 3D print. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. So my cousin hit me up a few weeks ago and said that he had this uh, plasma rifle from the video game Fallout that he wanted printed and asked if I could help him. And of course I said yes because that's just the kind of guy that I am. And I freaking love 3D printing. I think it's gotta be one of the coolest things that you can do. So we have everything loaded up and we are going to get started. And along the way, we're gonna share five of the most important tips when beginning a 3D print. Tip number one is software. Choose the right software for you. Now the reason why choosing the right software is so important is because not only do you want this to be easy to use and easy for you to understand when you're getting started, but you want it to have enough advanced features and customizations and kind of things you can tinker with so that way it grows with you. Now there's a whole bunch of different free options and stuff out there. Perhaps the best one in my opinion is the MakerBot software. It's simple and easy to use and it has this beautiful design aesthetic to it. However, there is one option that is king of the hill, and that would be Simplify 3D. Simplify 3D is not a free piece of software. It costs $149. Boom. <laughs> it's not cheap. It has the same simple interface of like something like the MakerBot software, and it's got so many different bells and whistles to this thing that it'll certainly grow with you. It'll grow with anybody of any level. So picking the right software, my recommendations, MakerBot if you're in the market for something free, if you do happen to kind of fall in love with 3D printing, I would say buy Simplify 3D. It is well worth it for the enthusiast 3D printer. Tip number two. <gasps> Google everything. You have to learn. That's that's one of the things with 3D printing. It's not as easy as just like click go and it prints out some perfect 3D print. It doesn't work like that. You're gonna have questions as you go along. 3D prints are gonna fail or things are gonna kind of like look ugly and you're gonna have no idea what's going on and you're gonna pull your hair out and all this sort of stuff. Now this kind of goes hand in hand with the software too, believe it or not. With Simplify 3D in particular, they have a dedicated support forum where it's very active. People are constantly asking questions, submitting bugs, and MakerBot happens to have a lot of these same things too. Tip number three, make sure the bed is level on your 3D printer. It can cause problems uh, hours later, like six hours or seven hours or whatever. That thing can just like, the nozzle can knock on one of the uh, edges or corners or something. And then you come home and you see it and you're just like, oh God, why? Level the bed. Tip number four, pick the right filament. If you have the wrong filament, it can cause all of these different problems that you might not even know it's a problem with the filament. You might think it's a problem with your settings or the 3D printer itself. One company that I stand by and they make really good quality 3D printer filament at a fantastic price is the company Hatchbox. It prints very consistently. It doesn't warp nearly as much as, um, you know, a lot of other filaments that have tried out. So Hatchbox filament, I highly recommend it. If you guys happen to know a different manufacturer or a different filament that you guys use, that you use consistently and works really well for you, let me know. Hit me up in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you guys are using to, to come up with some really excellent 3D prints. Tip number five. Yeah. So watch the whole entire first layer go down. That's my biggest advice to you. Just watch it. You know, let the 3D print start and keep your eyes on it the whole entire time. And you can kind of gauge whether or not, you know, things are working out. It's It should come out pretty smooth looking. There shouldn't be any gaps in between any of the line work or the filament at all. You should just have nice smooth lines sticking to the surface perfectly. Now there's a whole bunch of reasons why it may not or it will stick. It depends on the filament that you're using, the surface that you're printing on, the temperatures and everything like that. And again, this is where Google comes handy. Google everything if you're having issues and you should be able to solve them. So there you have it. Five tips for getting started on a 3D print. If you guys learned anything from this video or you think the tips are really valuable, give the video a big old thumbs up down below. Oh yeah. 
you know, let me know what you think about this stuff too. If there's like other things that you would like to share, if you have other tips and tricks related to 3D printing, uh, especially one that like a beginner might be able to use or find handy, or even just like resources and links and stuff, let us know in the comments down below. I love this stuff. I wanna see it, I wanna read it, let me know. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel because aside from 3D printing, we're gonna be exploring all kinds of technology here. We're gonna learn things, we're gonna play with things, we're gonna make things, and we're gonna break things. And you don't wanna miss it. Until next time, everybody.